الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آله وأصحابه الذين أوفوا عهده أما بعد Nowadays, unfortunately, we get a lot of people who talk against Deoband. You have a lot of internet shiyukh who are doing takfir and who criticize and talk against anyone who connect themselves with Deoband and they say that you have kufri aqaid or you have incorrect beliefs and so on and so forth. The reason for this debate or the reason for this discussion is for the simple fact that they themselves have not understood what Deobandiyat is. The reason for that is because a lot of people around the world, they connect themselves with Deoband, they call themselves Deobandi, and then they go and talk about things which are not in fact Masail or Aqaid of Deoband, rather they are their opinions themselves, but somehow it, it has been linked or they link themselves with Deoband. So I believe it is really important that we should clarify what Deoband is and who are the people involved in Deoband and when it comes to Aqaid and when it comes to Ahkam and different Masail and opinions of scholars it is important that we understand who are the authority in Deoband or who are the authority scholars of Deoband. So the first Sheikh and teacher of Sheikh Al-Hind Hazrat Maulana Muhammad Qasim Nanotwi Rahimahullah and his second Sheikh and teacher Hazrat Maulana Rashid Ahmad Gangohi Rahimahullah Sheikh Al-Hind Maulana Mahmud Al-Hassan Deobandi Rahimahullah and his immediate students for example Imam Al-Asr Maulana Muhammad Anwar Shah Kashmiri Rahimahullah Hakim Al-Ummat Mujaddid Al-Millat Maulana Ashraf Ali Thanwi Rahimahullah Founder of Tablighi Jamaat, Maulana Ilyas Gandelwi Rahimahullah and Sharih Sahih Muslim, Allama Shabir Ahmad Osmani Rahimahullah Mufti Azam Hind, Mufti Kifayatullah Dehlwi Rahimahullah and Sheikh Al-Islam, Maulana Sayyid Hussain Ahmad Madini Rahimahullah The name of their beliefs and ideology is known or it is classified as Diobandiyat and the name of their manhaj is also known as Diobandiyat. What these gentlemen agree upon is the consensus issue or an ijma'i mas'ala of Dioband. What it is disputed between them, it is the controversial mas'ala of Dioband. If a scholar explains masail, it will be seen that is it according to the unanimous opinions of these gentlemen that we've mentioned? If so, then it will be called as the position of Dioband. Meaning that if all these scholars agree upon something, now we will say that this is the opinion of Dioband. And if that mas'ala is against the opinion of these gentlemen, we will now classify it as the opinion against Dioband. The differences of the later scholars from these gentlemen will not be classified or interpreted as the differences of the Oband. Rather, it would be considered as the differences of opinion from the Oband. Let me give a simple example for this. If someone has Iman in a false Nabi, if someone has Iman in a false Nabi, we will not say that there is an ikhtilaf of nubuwa within the Muslims. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. We will say there is ikhtilaf from the Muslims. Whoever believes in a false Nabi, it will not be a considered as a masala of the Muslim Ummah. Rather, it would be considered an ikhtilaf from the Muslim Ummah. So if someone who does not agree with the opinion of these shuyukh, it will not be considered as an ikhtilaf of Dioband, rather it would be considered as an ikhtilaf from Dioband.